buffers Henderson Hasselbalch equation. The equations that we are going to use for acidic buffers pH is equals to pKa plus log anion by acid. They are molar concentrations. We can also write it like this pH is equals to pKa plus log concentration of base by concentration of acid. Here when I refer to anion or I refer to base, I refer to the strong conjugate bases that are actually going to affect the pH. So the conjugate basis is a negative ion or it's also a base based on the bronsted lowry theory of acids and bases. If in doubt, please go back and refer to your bronsted lowry theories for acids and bases and make sure you are familiar with conjugate acids and conjugate bases. The equation to use for basic buffers is very similar. Here we will calculate the POH which is equals to pKb plus log cations by base or we can write it as POH is equals to pKb plus log concentration of the acid by base. What I'm referring to here is the conjugate acid which could either be the cation or the acid because positive ions are conjugate acids and they undergo hydrolysis to produce hydronium ions. Again refer to bronsted lowry theory if in doubt. Here is a problem for you. What is the pH of a buffer solution prepared by adding 3.50 into 10 to the power of negative 5 mole per liter ammonium hydroxide and 2.50 into 10 to the power of negative 4 moles per liter ammonium chloride? The pKb for ammonium hydroxide is 4.75. So you're given the molar concentration of a weak base like ammonium hydroxide and you're given the molar concentration of a salt of the weak base, ammonium chloride. So we're going to use the Henderson-Hasselbalch equation to solve this problem. Since the buffer is made from a weak base and it's salt, it's a basic buffer. That's the first assumption that we will make based on the information provided to us. So we will use the equation for basic buffers and the equation is POH is equals to pKb plus log cation by base or the concentration of the ammonium ions by ammonium hydroxide. The cation comes from ammonium chloride and the cation is ammonium ions and the base comes from ammonium hydroxide which is a weak base and we put enter the numerical values for the concentration of the ammonium ions from ammonium chloride and for the weak base from ammonium hydroxide. Substituting the value POH is equals to pKb which is 4.75 plus log concentration of ammonium chloride which is 2.50 into 10 to the power of negative 4 divided by 3.5 into 10 to the power of negative 5. So we already know that these values are obtained from the molar concentrations of ammonium chloride, the salt, which provides the conjugate acid, and the base, which is a weak base. The final answer is pOH is equal to 5.6. Since we need the pH, pH is equal to 14 minus pOH, or pH is equal to 14 minus 5.6, which is 8.4. And this is in agreement with our observation because basic buffers will have a pH of greater than 7 and the pH of this buffer solution is 8.4. That's how you can solve a problem where you have to determine the pH of a basic buffer. And if you are given an acidic buffer, the equation changes appropriately and you can find the answer still. You will also be expected to calculate the amount of the conjugate acid or conjugate base that is required to prepare a pH of a particular value. That's it for now.